Hi, this is Ushio. Welcome back to Angels of Skadia Wings. We are carrying on with the mod. We're doing the Aftermath mod, and so far we have done Remy and Anna's storylines. So I think next up, we're going to go for some Bryce. So we're going to check this out. Hopefully, it's not too traumatic. Here we go. We have got Bryce impressed. We're going to go with everyone. And once we get through the true ending, we will see the mod. There was a large ceremony held to honour me and all the dragons who helped me stop Reza and save both humanity and dragonkind. As time went on and the dragons adapted to their new lives in our world, things were starting to look up. All the friends I'd made along the journey were living great lives. Loren received funding for his game from online supporters. He used some of that money to hire a few people to help with production and things were going swimmingly. Adim was offered a sponsorship for her aerobatics career, while Remy became a school teacher of Dragonic history and literature. The two of them ended up together and adopted Amelie and Vara. Anna was cured of her cancer, pardoned of her crimes, and now serves as the leading scientist in examining the similarities between humans and dragons. As for me and Bryce, well, let's find out. Considering my final conversation with Izumi, as well as the current state of the world, our city needed all the protection it could get. That said, I decided to join the city guard with Bryce, Sebastian, Maverick and the other dragons. Damn, I had no idea things could get this bad. I mean, Reza was one thing, but murders seem really common here. Well, good news is, everything seems to be dying down. I think criminals are starting to become intimidated by the fact that the city guard can send a dragon after him. I'll admit, I don't think a human stands a chance against any kind of dragon. But what about those armed to the teeth criminals? You said that Reza's gun was nothing compared to the kinds of guns that other people have. The only people allowed to own those bigger guns are law enforcement and military. If anybody else has an assault rifle, they're most likely located outside the city walls. And our defences are top notch. Hardly anyone's going to make it over the wall without being blown to bits. Wow, is it true that there are weapons capable of destroying entire cities? I mean, there were, but they were kind of dismantled a few years ago. Why would anyone need to blow up a city in the first place? Our leaders at the time believed that it was a means of defence to prevent other countries from being tempted to attack, but the only thing those weapons were successful at was scaring the general public. We came damn close to destroying ourselves on multiple occasions, but thankfully only two bombs in history were used in war. The world powers eventually came together and agreed to dismantle their weapons once and for all. And even if they did still exist, the solar flare erased any possibility of using such weapons which is probably the only good thing that came out of the solar flare incident. Eh, uh, not necessarily. What do you mean? If the solar flare never struck, we might never have made contact with each other. Which means you would never admit us. Okay, that's a good point. I don't think any of us can imagine a life without you anymore, right guys? You betcha. Uh, sure. <laughs> I guess the solar flare was a bit of a blessing in disguise. Even Maverick seems to believe so. Yeah, I never said that. Come on, Mavers, you still don't trust Ushio after all we've been through. Or maybe he's still too proud to admit it. Or maybe all of you should mind your own damn biz. I'll take it as a yes. I think someone needs a hug. Don't even think about it. Do it, do it, it only encourages it more. Stay out of this, Bryce. Ah oh, man, what should I do? Fuck this, I'm going for it. <laughs> I walked over to the Grey Dragon and did exactly what he demanded I not do. Ah! <laughs> Fine. I felt Maverick's arm wrap around my waist, but the moment was short-lived as he pulled away a second later. Looks like this guy can find the soft spot in even the toughest of tough guys. Shut up, Bryce. I might have a hard time admitting it, but this guy's my friend. That didn't seem too hard for you to say. Nobody asked for your opinion, Sebastian. Ah, oh, Maverick, you'll never change. Please never change. Good. I like having some things that stay the same. But I guess the comet is proof that sometimes you have no choice but to change. Yeah, it's really sad to think about our home, and everything that exists in it has been obliterated. So many things I left behind that I wish I could have taken with me. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Oh well, at least it wasn't us that got incinerated. It could have been a lot worse. It has been worse too. Right, in other timelines, you failed to save us. Thanks for the friendly reminder. Sorry, that didn't come out right. So, all that time travel stuff is true then? Well, yeah. 
what about the weird dreams that we had? Were those just our consciousness in different timelines? I wouldn't go that far, but they're most likely memories that your previous selves would have had, yeah. So we're 65 million years into the future? Yes. That's kinda nuts. I can't even wrap my head around it. Maybe you burn too many brain cells at the bar? Pretty crazy. Do you feel like you're in a bad sci-fi novel? We'll go with that. Sci-fi novel, yes, but maybe not a bad one. And our myth about humans creating dragons, is that true as well? I mean, yeah, Izmi, the human who helped us defeat Reza, is one of the reasons you all exist. It kind of blows my mind. I actually met the person who created me. Well, indirectly, I guess. And you told me to stay home for the night. I could have met her too. Hey, at least you weren't killed by Reza, right? I mean, I guess so. And the other reasons? What? You said Izumi was only one of the reasons dragons exist. Oh yeah, they deserve to know, but how are they going to respond? Well, okay, so it goes something like this. Okay, let's fill him in on all the weird backstory that Izumi told us in the true ending. Damn, are you serious about this shit? That's what Izumi told me before she died. So, we were three humans away from becoming pawns in humanity's war games. And you wonder why I've got trust issues. But all it took was for one human to avert the disaster. It sure is scary to think about all the what ifs though. I think guarding a city is enough for me, but war? Hell no, count me out. Don't focus on what ifs, don't be such a coward. Uh, don't focus on the what ifs, yeah. There's no point in worrying about the what ifs, because they never happened. You're not being made into bioweapons, and you're not fighting our wars. Humanity has acknowledged dragons as people too, and all people are created equal. Yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, I think it's best that we keep this to ourselves. Things have a way of being distorted through the media, you know? Yeah, I agree. The dragon population might panic and turn against humanity, and vice versa. Seb, Mav, can you guys promise to keep your lips sealed? I mean, yeah. Very well. You know, it's a shame Bryce can't be called Chief anymore. I'll never get used to that. Yeah, there is no Chief rank in the City Guard. It's just a title, guys. It's no big. Well, no matter what, you'll always be chief to us. Yeah, I second that. I'm on board with that, okay. Oh wow, you guys. What? Oh, just had a, a message from the general. We need to register our call signs. All in favour of making Bryce's call sign beer. Okay, that's funny, yeah, yeah. Or oh, whiskey, that's a more common code name in the military. I'll choose my own name, thanks very much. I'm going to be brute, because I'm rough and tough, and crooks will run scared when they see me. Rude. Okay, interesting. Hmm. What do you think? Uh, that's the best you can come with. Uh, totally badass. N uh, not bad. Uh, this, this, this a approve. Yeah, that's badass, man. Is that so? I'm gonna go with speedster. Maverick. Grayscale. Ah, uh, nice play on words. Whatever. And that leaves me. What should we call ourselves? Um. Oh, uh, just call me Oosh. Oosh, right? I like the name. Okay, we'll go with it. Sounds good to me. Okay, Angel Squad is ready for action. Serving members, Brute, Speedster, Grayscale, and Oosh. <laughs> so stupid, I regret it already. Okay, I think that's all we need for tonight. We can clock out now. I'm ready to hit the bar. Of course you are. Come on, I haven't had a drink all day. That's a first. Now we get to see who can ingest the most beer. Alright, time for the drinks. Okay, place your bets on who's gonna win. In that case, we should all bet that Bryce is gonna win. I got a better idea, let's make things interesting. What you got? It's a game called Who's Most Likely. We each take a turn asking a question about who's most likely to do what. And then we all vote for whoever's most likely to do what we asked. Whoever gets the most votes has to drink. But what if there's a tie? Then I guess both candidates drink? What if we all choose each other, and each only has one vote? Then we all drink. So here's an example who's most likely to win a drinking game. Bryce. Bryce. Yeah, it's me. So then, Bryce would have to take a drink. So what's the objective of the game? Okay, last man standing, I guess. As much as you can when you're drunk. Okay, I'm down. Sounds like fun. Okay, let's do it. You start us off. Who's most likely to... Break a beer bottle against their head, not be phased by a dead body, cheat at a card game. Um, hmm. 
Let's let's go with a uh, break a beer bottle against the head. Bryce, definitely Bryce. Drink up. I'm voting for you too. Oh man, gotta smash that beer bottle on his head. All right, these guys are drinking. Yeah, it's nice to get the first swig in. You do realize getting drunk means you lose, right? Then this might be a game I want to lose. And now we go clockwise, so Bryce, you go next. Okay, who's most likely to run away from danger? Sebastian. Sebastian. Oh man, that's not true. It's gotta be you, Seb, sorry. Sebastian, the tribe has spoken. Fine. Okay, Seb, Seb has first drink. <laughs> go for it, Mav. Who's the most likely to die of alcohol poisoning? Oh, Bryce. Oh man, that's harsh. I thought it would be, as, as the human, I would be most susceptible. Hey, I'm not that much of an alcoholic. I bet Ushio can't handle as much as any of us can. This is true. But I doubt Ushio drinks as much as you anyway. I'll see how it is. Let's, let's keep the game fun. Hopefully it doesn't turn sour. <laughs> Your turn, Seb. Okay, who's most likely to pay the tab tonight? Sebastian's question was followed by a long silence. Ooh, tricky. Whoever passes out first. That's probably going to be me. Ah, shit. Could be. Or it could be you, Seb. Nah, I think dragons could take in more alcohol than humans. So you vote for me because I'm inferior. That's basically what he's saying, yeah. Okay, be that way. Okay, we're drinking now. I think Maverick is the only person who hasn't drunk yet. Back to you. Alright, let's do some rounds. A few rounds went by and the buzz was already in motion. Who's the most likely to kill someone? Mary Emra accidentally light something on fire. Um, Mary Emra, okay. All eyes were locked on surprise. <laughs> Shame. Okay, I think we all know the answer. Ricey, Ricey, drink him up nicely. Oh man, oh man, don't take it personal, it's just for fun. Bryce's lack of a comeback was mildly unsettling, but then again, the look in his eye was all the proof I needed that he was now out for revenge. Okay, who's most likely to have the smallest, oh god, biceps? Yes, yeah, between me and Sebastian, fine. Sebastian and I each flex our biceps to compare them. Wow, what do you think, Mavers? The shoes are slightly bigger. Are you shitting me? Seriously, that's like, I forgot how many I've had, but this is kind of unfair. And now you get another. I swear, you guys are just ganging up on me. Don't ask questions, you don't want to know the answer to. You asked the question though. Oh, alright. But whatever, I'll drink. Okay, chug it. Chug, chug, chug. Has Maverick had a single drink out of this? Who's the most likely to not have fire breath? That is unfair, dude. You haven't drunk in a while. I mean, I guess. Well, they didn't even they didn't even do a vote. It's just straight on me. There you go, grey gay. That's the best you can do. If I was sober, I'd insult you into a comma. <laughs> you mean a coma? I mean, shut up. I think I like you better when you're drunk. Wow, I'm getting abusive in my drunk haziness. I'm sure the background's gone a bit blurry. Was it before? By now. All of us are completely hammered. It's just a matter of time before someone drops. Alright, whose turn is it even? I lost track about five go-rounds ago. I'll go. Great, Sebi Slider. What's your question for us, please, and thank you. Okay, who, who's the most... I think I like you better drunk too, Mav. Hey, hey, I'm speaking here. You do not speak when I'm speaking. Who's most likely to get intimate with another species? Okay, that's these guys. Ah, shit. Bryce, did you tell him? Eh, it might have slipped out. It slipped out? I doubt that. I'm surprised it wasn't too much for you to handle, you know? What about you, Murph? You're not exactly a runner like Anna. Anna's still a dragon, though. So, so, yours and Bryce's relationship is a bigger attention grabber. Are we going to vote or not? I did. I vote for you two. You can only vote for one. Fine, I'll vote for you then. I'm also voting for me. Ah, shit. You know, I might vote for you too. Rude. Et tu brute. <laughs> what? Never mind. It's a saying that basically means I feel betrayed. Why did you vote for me anyway? 
when you were explaining time travel, you mentioned meeting with the other dragons that were with us, Anna, Lorem, Remy, and Nadine. You used to say you didn't get frisky with one or all of them in previous timelines. Am I right, or am I wrong? No, 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 it's only you. You can say yes if you did, I won't be mad. You wouldn't be my first either, or even my fourth. Uh, Fine, you got me. Fine, I confess, I might have had moments with some of them. Details. Oh god. Uh, let's... Uh, none of your biz. None of your biz. Does this seriously matter who I've been with before? I don't want to get into an argument. Maverick is going to get pissed off if I mention anything about Anna. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it at that. Just so I'd like to hear your experiences, that's all. I don't hear you spinning all the details of your previous relationships. Fine. I'm sorry I asked. Anyway, that's three votes for you. Down the hatch you go. Okay, I'm sort of curious. Would they be angry if I did talk about the other ones? Now, Ushui, I believe it's you who questifies next. Who's most likely to cry? Cry at what? Anything, I don't know. Seb, maybe? Why me? You were the last person I saw cry. When? Ten minutes ago. When I asked who is most likely to die alone. Oh, that is harsh. These questions got dark really fast. I'm sure Ushio cried. Oh shit, I mean oceans. With how many times he fucked up his time travel ride. Now that's a stab in the gut, Mav. You know what? Now I don't like drunk Maverick. Now I don't like drunk Ushio. While Maverick and I are arguing, Sebastian started drinking his beer. Sib, nobody voted for you. I know, I voted for me. Ah shit. Oh god! <laughs> His face hit the table as he went. Look at him, what a dumbass. <laughs> Who's most likely to wake up with a hooker in their bed? You, duh. And Usha will be the hooker, rude. I say it's you, and Anna will be the hooker. Oh, I'm gonna tell her you said that. Screw it, let's all drink, since we're all unsingle. An excuse to drink, let's do it. Ah oh, man, Seb is out, Seb loses. Does that mean he pays the tab? Later, peeps. <laughs> and then there were two. What do you say we make this the last round, and whoever doesn't drink is the winner? Alright. Who's the most likely to pass out next? Uh, it is probably me. Correct. Okay. Drink it. Drink it down. There was no point in fighting it. I laid my head on the table, so I wouldn't bruise my face like Seb and Mav did. Nighty night. Oh wow, we got absolutely destroyed in that drinking game. <laughs> oh man. When I came to, Bryce was staring me dead in the eyes, just inches from my face. Morning, sunshine. What? Morning already? No, we've been laying on the curb if it was. Tension. Oh, we're still at the bar. Maverick slowly opened his eyes, but kept his head resting on the table. Who won? Who do you think? Oh, of course. And you passed out first, so you're paying the tab. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I think that's enough for the night. What do you say we go home? Well, none of us can drive, so we can either call a taxi or walk. My place isn't actually that far from here. We can all crash there for the night. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, fine. Okay, sleepover. Hell yeah. Okay, so we ended up hobbling two blocks back to Maverick's apartment. Sebastian passed out right on the floor without another sound, and Maverick stumbled into his bed. This left Bryce and I to have to share the couch. Or rather, Bryce slept on the couch, and I slept on him. Okay, we're going to find out more about this in the next episode. This is Ushio signing off, and hopefully I will see you next time.